hello everyone welcome to the python tutorial in this video we are going to see how to clean data and remove any string or special characters from an integer value here we are going to use a property construction data set which has 22 attributes and 2676 records so let's begin first we are going to import our pandas package by using the statement import pandas spd next we would be importing the data set which is located at the d drive so we can do that by pd dot read underscore csv along with the file path and the file name which is build underscore data dot csv once the data set is imported we are going to use the head function to print the first five records of the data set as five is the default value of the head function so the function is running now and we'll have the, the data set of the first five rows of the data set as an output so as you can see we have the output over here where we have the first five rows and the 22 columns of the data set so this is our build data and uh, in this data set we are going to focus on just one column that is block as you can see we have integer values in block for the first five records and so one would expect that it will be same for all the 2676 records and hence the data type for the same should be integer so we are we are observing that the data type of block is integer and we are going to verify whether the data type of block is so using this info function we can find the information about all the columns of our data set along with the data type so as you can see for the block column we have 2676 non-null records and the data type over here is object but as we thought the data type should be integer so let's try to convert the data type for our block column to integer using the as type int function so what does this as type function will do it will take the block column of the data frame and apply the as type function and try to convert the data type of the block column as integer and replace it back to our original block column so let's try running this function as you can see the running this function gave us a value error so what is this error let's see the value error is invalid literal for int with base 10 and over here we have an example because of which the function give us an error which is 4591d so this is one of the records in our block column and as you can see there is a exceptional d letter attached to this value which is why the uh, conversion of this column data type couldn't be converted to integer so what we have to do in this column is we have to remove all these errors from our column and to do that we are going to be use our regex function so let's see what this regex function is all about so first we need to import the re package since the regex package is a part of regex re package so now let's understand the syntax of it so the regex function is all about replacing a specific uh, record value with another value by searching a list or by searching a string so here we have the syntax so the regex function works as re dot sub with the parameters as pattern replacement string and then few more optional parameters are there so what are these parameters parameter pattern is about uh, what it is going to search is what value we are looking for for example in this 4591d we are going to look for this d element so we can replace it and this is how we are going to search for all the values which are non-numeric here we have not 0 to 9 so not 0 to 9 are non-numeric values and applying this symbol will give uh, will remove all 0 remove it will remove all other non-numeric characters and then it will be replacing here we have the second parameter replacement which will be an empty value because uh, two quotes gives an empty value then we have this string so this string is the value the is the value that we are going to look into so let's see what we are doing here 
we are creating an empty list which we'll be using later next we are using a for loop where the for loop runs for all the elements in our block column and each value will is stored as a temporary variable string now we have a normal string variable which will be saving our updated values for all the non-numeric values then we have re.sub and the first uh, is the pattern that we are looking for and the pattern is here is all the non-numeric values and the second is the replacement which is an empty value and the third is the string that we are going to look into so the string over here is also the string that we are saving all the individual values from the block column in the for loop now this updated value is going to be saved in the normal string variable now what we are doing is as we have created an empty list before the for loop we are going to append all these upda updated values in this empty list now this list will have all the updated values of each value of the block column without any non-numeric values next we are going to use this list and update the original column in our data frame that is the block column we are going to replace it with the updated list uh, that we have with the clean data so let's run this code and as you can see the code uh, successfully is finished and now what we can expect is there is no more errors or non-numeric values in our block column so again let's try to convert the data type of the block column to int so we are using the same function as type int and we are applying it on the block column and then it replacing it to the uh, original block column so let's try running it so as you can see this time there is no error thrown and this time it is successfully run so uh, this time the information or the data type of our column should be integer which was object as uh, as we have seen previously the data type of uh, block was object because we had different values instead of integers and as you can see we had error uh, while converting but after using the regex function we are expecting to remove uh, the remove all the errors and we have only integer values and as you can see this time the conversion to integer was successful also so the info uh, should be given as integer for the block column so as you can see in the info of the data the block column consists of integer data type it is no longer object but this time it is an integer so we have successfully cleaned our block column and converted the data type of, of, of block from object to integer and uh, removed all the abnormalities or errors from our block column which should be consisting only integer values so that's it for this video to watch more such videos subscribe to our youtube channel thank you